Good morning, IBC family. Welcome to your midweek devotion. This week, I wanted to talk to you about building a boat despite. So I was listening to a song this week called Build a Boat by Colton Dixon, and the lyrics really struck a chord with me. So I just wanted to walk through the lyrics today and shed some light on how they've helped me with my week this week and helped me in my journey. So the first verse is, I've been wandering through the desert, haven't seen a cloud in forever. I believe, but I believe your rain is coming. I'm hanging on to high hopes because you're the only one who's making dry bones come to life. You're the light I put my trust in. So I just want to camp on that verse for a minute. So I love that. I love how we are often, we're in storms or we're in seasons where it feels like we're in a desert, right? We're in a dry place. Nothing's happening. There's no cloud in sight. I'm not seeing when am, when am I going to come out of this valley? When am I going to get to the promised land? The promises, you know, you start to question. Maybe they're not meant for me. Maybe I'm not where I'm supposed to be, right? But when we believe in his word, when despite what it looks like, feels like, we believe that that rain is coming, then that's when we are digging in deep. That's when we are staying the course, staying consistent. Noah had to do that. There wasn't a cloud in sight. Didn't look like rain was coming, but he built his boat despite everything that was stacked up against him, right? That's when he had to dig in deep to what he knew about God. So that's when we dig in deep. When we see bills or debt or lack starting to mount and we're in that dry place, we're not seeing an end in sight. But then we turn around and say, no, no, I am blessed and I am highly favored. Second Corinthians 9, 8 says, and God, you're able to bless me abundantly so that in all things, all the time, having all that I need, I'll abound to every good work. I thank you, God, for Philippians 4, 19, and you will meet all of my needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus, right? That's when you start to dig down and you say, it doesn't matter that it doesn't look like there's any rain coming. So this leads us into verse two of the song. Every word you say is going to come true. You will lead me to the promised land. Everything you say is going to happen, even though I haven't seen it yet. I mean, that's faith right there, right? Faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God. If I can encourage you on one thing today, it's listen to the word of God day in and day out, right? Faith that then becomes coupled with hope, because that verse says they're hopeful. That verse is hopeful. Then you get Hebrews 11, 1, where it says, faith shows the reality of what we hope for. It is the evidence of what we cannot see. And that's what I feel like that verse pulls out right there. You're in a dry season, a hard season, a storm with no cloud in sight, but you are believing that the rain is coming. You're believing that the provision is coming, that the healing is coming, that the restoration in your family is coming, the restoration in your marriage is coming, even though you haven't seen it yet, right? It's that clinging to God's truth this week, no matter what you're facing. So then you come up to the chorus, and this chorus to me is very powerful. So it says, I will build a boat in the sand where they say it never rains. I will stand up in faith. I'll do anything it takes. With your wind in my sails, your love never fails or fades. I will build a boat in a desert place. And when the flood and the waters start to rise, I'll ride the storm because I've got you by my side. With your wind in my sail, your love never fails or fades. I'll build a boat, so let it rain. So I love that because it's all about choosing, making that choice to build a boat in that desert place in that season, in that storm, when you're struggling, you're hurting, you're waiting, it's your middle, right? Build a boat. This means you stay the course. You continue to do what God has said to do, despite, despite what it looks like, despite what it feels like, sounds like what others say. I mean, if you put this in the perspective of Noah, everyone thought he was crazy. You know, sometimes you're staying the course, you're grounded in God's word, and you're you're waiting for the rain and you're claiming it to happen and you have family or friends. They're like, why are you still doing this? Why don't you, you should do this, you should do that, you should do this, right? It's the world's way and the world system. So others may see you in your middle, in your waiting and wonder, you know, why don't you do it a different way? Why wait? Why seek God? See, when you're building a boat and you're staying on course, then you're making the choice to wake up early 
to seek God first. You're not missing your devotion times. You're showing up on Sundays. You're actually careful about what shows you watch, about what books you read, about what music you're listening to. You're walking in love when you're within your right to take offense. You're being selfless when you're justified to be selfish. See, that's not the world's way of thinking and doing. That does not match God's way. What Noah was doing was not matching what others thought he should do, right? But he kept on building that ark, that boat, when there hadn't been any rain. No rain in sight, but he stayed the course and he did it God's way. He obeyed God, even though everyone he knew thought he was crazy. But he knew that if he stayed the course, followed God, he would see God's promises fulfilled in his life. Because when the waters start to rise, I like that part too, when life begins to put on that pressure, when it rains, it pours, right? But if we have stayed grounded in him, if we stayed consistent in our time with him, our fellowship with him, with the word being built up in our heart and hearing it and hearing it and building that faith, we're building our boat, then when that happens in life, when the floodwaters come, others might get swept up in the floodwaters, but we're writing it out with God on our side. We have that peace and that love and that joy that they don't understand. We can sail through it when others are drowning in it, right? When we hear stuff on the news and the fear and the anxiety tears through our world, we're, we're peaceful because we built our boat and we know we will reach the promised land when we keep our foundation in him. So this week, when you feel like you're in your desert place, when you don't see the light at the end of the tunnel yet, build your boat. Keep consistent with God. Keep seeking. Keep reading. Keep hearing. Keep believing. Because when you do that, then you will be ready when the floods come. And it can be twofold. When the floods come with the pressure of life or when the floods come because God's ready to pick you up and take you where he wants you to be, where he has planned for you. Because he knows the plans that he has for you. And they're for greatness, right? Their plans to prosper you, to give you hope in your future. So build your boat this week, despite what it may look like. Have a great week. Bye.